Hey, so if you have been on my channel for the past couple of weeks, then you'll know that I've periodically provided some updates about the Breonna Taylor case. And so it's only fitting that I provide an additional update because of some information that has been made available to the public via leaked documents from the arrest warrant that led the Louisville Police Department to Breonna Taylor's apartment, okay? Now, before I go into this, let's remember that at the very beginning, we knew that she was a person of interest and her address was a location of interest because she had an ex-boyfriend that was using her address at one point to get mail. And he got caught up in a drug investigation. And since up until I believe the end of 2019 or January of 2020, he was still using her address. Okay. The Louisville Police Department initially said that they were surveilling a suspect in a case along with some of his associates including Brianna Taylor, because he was using her address. And the police department said early on that she was never a suspect in the case, and they did not believe that she had anything to do with the drug investigation. Now that has been called into question because one of the other persons of interest in this case is claiming that Brianna Taylor had about seven or eight thousand dollars of his money. Here's what I'll say because I'm an objective person. If she was involved in any illegal activity or she knew about her ex boyfriend's involvement, then listen, certain things come along with choosing to participate in certain lifestyles. The only thing I will say is this. I'll just remind us of the fact that one person has already lied on Breonna Taylor in this case. Why? Because dead men tell no tales. So remember, when the cops were trying to figure out who shot at them the night that they entered her apartment with the no-knock warrant, a certain someone said, oh, it was Breonna and only told the truth because the investigation confirmed that he was actually the person who had shot at the police officer. So right now, the only thing that implicates Brianna is the word of someone who is a suspect in the case. Okay, and apparently he claimed that she had this money a day or two after everyone found out that she was dead. So it's possible we just also got to remember somebody else lied on her too. Someone, someone has already lied on her in this case. So we don't really know what her involvement was in the drug investigation other than to pay attention to the words of the police department who actually said they did not view her as a suspect. So what I want to know from you all is, does this new information change how you feel about what happened to Breonna Taylor? And what do you think our takeaway from this moment should be? Because I'll be honest with you, sometimes the the tone in some of these conversations is just kind of like, I told you so, and black women shouldn't do this, and black women shouldn't do that. And it's like, well, okay, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion, but at the end of the day, is, is that the takeaway? Are you hoping that there's some sort of justice for her? You know, how do we use these situations as a teachable moments for younger black women, right? Because Breonna Taylor was in that age group of, of black women that we're trying to really reach, the black women who are under 30. How do we convey the warning message without coming across like we're saying, I told you so, and because you took certain missteps, I don't care about what happened to you. Is that is that the message that we really want? And if not, 
how do we issue the warning without coming across that way? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I also want to know, do you think that um, being concerned about not appearing to say, I told you so, uh, do you view that as muling for black women? Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to figure out the, what, what takeaway are we looking for here? All right. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section. All opinions are welcomed as long as they're respectful. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you have your notifications on. And also, please check out my live stream channel. You can find it by going to the channel section of this channel and clicking on the channel that's listed there. It's called Live with Simply Leah. Please go over there, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and check out some of my past live streams. I'll be uploading some new content there um, pretty soon in the upcoming weeks, all right? I hope you all are doing well. And again, does this new information change how you feel about the Breonna Taylor case? Bye.